What is going on there, Reject Nation? Greg here today. I'm about to check out the movie Prey, a film I'm very much excited for. I'm a big fan of the Predator franchise. I like the movie 10 Cloverfield Lane, which is the same director. A couple of things I got to acknowledge. Yeah, I am shooting this a little bit early because I have an interview to do with the director and a couple members of the cast for this film. So that interview should already be up on the channel before this one is. And another quick disclaimer, I've seen those comments come in, people assuming there's this automatic bias of recommendation just because because we've talked to some of the filmmakers or talent involved with the movie. Let me refer you to our Eternals reaction, our Mortal Kombat reaction, our Hawkeye reaction. You'll see we were very, very much not shy to be harsh in our criticism for those properties while we still interview the talent. So if I end up not liking this, I'll be honest with you guys. I just won't tell them that. I'll just focus on what I liked about it when talking with them. And yes, I am shooting this by myself right now because John, a few days ago, he tested positive for the vid diesel, as I call it. I myself tested positive for it. I still have it right now, but I, I, I just talked to John. I'm, I'm definitely feeling much better than him. I'm healing. I'm, I'm a superhuman. Like I said, I'm a massive fan of the Predator franchise. Really looking forward to this. If you guys can leave a like, be very much appreciated. Also, subscribe, click the notification bell, get notified when we got another movie reaction up here on the channel. Full length reaction watch alongs where you sync up with the time code are available for our super sexy rejects over at our Patreon page. Become a sexy reject today by checking out all we got to offer over there. Lastly, the team at Prepper. Thank you guys for helping us edit down these highlights. Would not be in the position we are today if it wasn't for all of you. Let's get in action, people. A long time ago, it is said, a monster came here. Beautiful opening shot. Beautiful music so far. <laughs> That dog better not die. Badass. I hope you guys watch this movie with headphones because there's some incredible sound design already. <laughs> yeah, who is this chick? She is badass. No. Oh, what a bunch of bullshit. Uh. I swear that dog better not die. <laughs> Gonna ask to use that, that trap on the predator. <laughs> cool reveal. This morning in the sky, I saw a sign. The Thunderbird. It's time. I'm ready for my Katamiya. You really think you're ready? You want to hunt something that's hunting you. You're going to get exactly what you want. <laughs> this is such a great shot. Is that for War Chief's bad knee? Hmm. He's getting worse. You didn't put on Stutzi off. Who taught you about Orange Tootsia? You? You'll have to use Orange Tootsia when you're fighting against the Predator. Go get us some Orange Tootsia. <laughs> Such a good build-up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this movie's grip on the atmosphere so much. Ah! 
Don't worry, you're gonna get to prove yourself with the ultimate prey. Hina! A lion. He took Pui. You gotta find him. This movie's already way better than that Shane Black one. <laughs> Who invited you? She tracks well. If we find Pui alive, she knows medicine. That dude's got a cool voice. <laughs> I hate snakes. <laughs> That's a great shot, though. Kill that snake. <laughs> What a cool perspective shot. Don't like animal deaths, but for some reason snakes. They're the one, the main thing that I can handle. You see that crushed bone? That's lion scat. The cat that made it was big. If it bleeds, we can kill it. I love how like immediate and pulsating this is. He's breathing. Pets her. So much could kill him. It won't kill him. Just cool his blood. Cool his blood. That will come in handy. Why is Pooh alive? There's something that scared the cat away from its den. I've got this. We don't have time to waste talking. We need to get him home. Manam Soy. She's the only one being smart, or at least asking the smart questions. Wowie, wowie. She's great. There's a lot of life behind her eyes. Look. Could be bear tracks. But that's a big bear. And why was it on its hind legs? And what skin's a snake like that? We need to keep moving. No, I have to warn my brother. Aren't you guys the slightest bit curious? I love the use of the tribal drums, like captures that, like a heartbeat in a way. I found tracks and they were huge. I'm not frightened by a bear. I don't know what it was. I've never seen anything like it. Well, whatever it was, we're in the cat's den now. We have to deal with it first. You guys are too cool. When the lion comes, you tell that thing, this is as far as you go. No more. This is it. I'm really loving the main girl's performance a lot. It's There's so much nuance happening with her expressions. This interest, curiosity, fear, courage this is all like layered in this one sense of body language. When your brother comes back, he and I will find the lion and kill him. Oh my god! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, wild. <laughs> brother carried you home what about the lion how they went after it i have to find him no you need to rest oh man they're all gonna be dead by the morning this is cool how it's capturing the like the primal themes of predator There's a lot of dead animals in this movie, damn. The head of that thing. So he returned her, then went back out there, killed the lion, and came back with the lion. This guy is just as cool as me. We didn't do it. You're right. We didn't do it. I did. You tried it. You couldn't bring it home. 
Don't you worry. You're going to have the greatest opportunity to prove yourself. I don't know why. I, I get almost like a sort of like survival video game vibe. It's not exactly that, but you kind of get the impression of it. Guys, I'm telling you, I found green blood. It doesn't mean anything. Shut up, woman. Come on, man. I'm hating this predator because of all the animal kills. Fascinating. I don't do it, Wolfie. There's so many animal deaths. To think I almost had my friend Andrew Gordon watch this movie with me. <laughs> he can't. He really can't handle animal deaths. <laughs> nice. Yo-yo wax. -yo, I wonder if she was really doing that. Please don't kill the dog. Holy balls. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it does not stop. Oh man, you better fuck this predator up, I swear to God. Sorry? Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> There's some incredible sound design in this film. <laughs> Wow, what a hell of a shot. Come on. Oh, good thing you're covered in all that mud. I feel like they're just planting so many seeds for the final battle. That bear's dead. Oh, great. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. No, puppy. Yeah, I'm hoping the predator gets to it before it gets to the dog. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit, Bob, you're not gonna believe what I just saw! <laughs> Oh, 
fucking terrifying. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, it's got him. It's got the bear. There's some blood in its mouth. Bears at least putting up a fight. Oh! <laughs> See how pissed that bear was? It's like this mother bear. Holy Christ. Oh my God, it's like drenched in blood. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the invisible man on steroids. <laughs> Holy crap. There's such great use of setting in this film, like with the all the man versus nature qualities to it and things you could get trapped in and just your the environments it's, it's so well utilized i'm really digging this movie a lot this is really good this is some really good shit what are you doing here looking for you your brother sent us to bring you home i'm ready for them to not believe a single thing she says i saw what left those tracks it <laughs> fought and killed a bear with its hands easily how come it didn't kill you <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Good for you. Good for you. Damn, this guy can't get one hit. <laughs> you wanna leave? Then leave. Oh my god. Oh shit. There's something out there. Just sit. Just don't put a weapon in her hands yet. You need a leash for your weapon? Don't talk all this fucking tough, man. You has got your ass kicked. Did it, guys. What do you think drove the possums our way? You're about to, about to suck some dick, man. <laughs> Whoa, that's different. Now would be a good time to start shooting some shit. Yeah. Gnarly. <laughs> I'd just be shouting, I told you so. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh god, here it is. I don't blame you. Again, this fucking music, man. I mean, damn. <laughs> the trailer moment. I just got some serious nipple chills right now. <laughs> We 
No. He has us. Oh! <laughs> Yikes. That was a terrifying shot. Oh my god. <laughs> Ah, oh, great. Oh, here we go. If the predator hasn't used a gun yet, will it get a gun from these guys? Oh, good. There's a whole whole settlement here to, to slaughter for the predator. You killed the buffalo. Ah. What did you see? You are Comanche, yes? She fired at the No, 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 no. On peut toujours l'utiliser. They're kind of hunt for Red Octobering it, right? Yeah, okay. If you were smart, you would help us. Ah, oh, no. Are you hurt? Oh, they tried. He's got a Billy scar. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Something almost demonic about it. You want to know how I killed that lion? Your plan. You had it, Naru. You can see what I miss. You always have. <laughs> I don't know that this thing can be killed. If it bleeds, we can, we can kill, kill it. it. We can kill it. <laughs> Shrill violence. Out. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Yep. Shadow <laughs> 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 He trap on his guy's head. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to defeat this thing, man. <laughs> it's like Wonder Woman on No Man's Land. Losing his leg to be free. Wait. Not What are you doing, Naru? Not a stop. <laughs> I'm smarter than a beaver. Yeah, you yeah, really set it up like you were gonna cut a limb off, all right? Just go back to your tribe and throw away all your weapons. Just 
Spit your face right up in it. Spit your face right up in it. Wow, he didn't even want to waste his time with them. Nice work. Damn. Oh. Oh, damn. Queen! That was a gritty ass one take shot, man. I'm sure, there was like one hidden cut in there. I think there's like just enough of like early stage predator, you know what I mean? Of the, the technology stuff. But he also seems to have like. Kind of a, a larger quantity of weapons. Watch. Uh, you put in the gun three, four times. It's okay. He just shoots her. End of movie. What is it? <laughs> His blood is cold. You really get that feel of like this ferocious man slash beast in that predator suit. You done fucked up, man. I can't see him. Cold blood. <laughs> I thought he was going to step like on his heart or something. No. That. Hell no. Oh my god. Thank god. Wow, gross. Sometimes it feels like video game levels. I love it. Where you go? Yep. Hey! Oh, po, good shot. Not too little. Nice, man. Oh, cowardly predator. This is as far as I go. that guy he bums me up i think the way they've they've captured the predator here feels like um some type of ferocious hybrid of man and beast that arose from nature as opposed to like an alien from an alien from space what's she gonna do with him <laughs> Oh my goodness. You bled my brother. So now you bleed. Your guitar. <laughs> you can't see, but I'm killing you. I 
and it won't either. Man, you become a cold-hearted badass. That's what happens when your brother dies. <laughs> the predator is legit scary in this. Nice work. Nice. Oh, we in a predator finale. Oh shit, is this like snowing or is it just flowers falling? It. I love the look of it. Yes, and the cold breath. Ah, oh, I love it. Oh, nice, nice. Damn, this predator's got some parkour skills, man. Aesthetics here. <laughs> He's got the axe in this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> it came back. Yes. That's fucking terrifying. It's like a goddamn Lord of the Rings orc in this movie. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Do it. Do it now. This is as far as you go. No more. right there. I don't think I've ever rooted for a character this much in a Predator franchise. Like, not not one character I've ever like, come on, do it, kill him! <laughs> yeah, me! Me! I did the avenging around here! Me! I'm a hunter! We need to move to easier protected ground. Is that the Predator 2 gun? I thought that was a different gun. <laughs> or am I right or left? Is that the Predator 2 gun? Oh my god, historical fiction at its finest. I'm alive. Fuck. 
fuck yeah, we got a great ass Predator movie. Not since the first one. We finally got a great Predator movie. Holy crap. That was great. That was really great. Holy God. I just... It, this franchise has been so up and down, and we finally got a great-ass Predator film. I was so happy with that, man. That was amazing. I like how they're doing the end credits designs a lot. Making its way in history. This is how the story will be told. The cast was so good, too. Oh God, I can't wait to talk about this. Like with others and stuff, I can't wait to share the enthusiasm for this film. Is that a setup for live more? Mansion Nation. Oh, yeah. Such great music, too. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it pumped. It feels so good to, to truly have a great Predator film again. And so, like, obviously, it pays, it pays like, clear tribute to things in the first movie. But I, I love how it feels, like, so different in, in many, many, many ways. Other than the predictable, like, oh, we're going to go to the finale arc uh showdown which is one-on-one -on -one setting up the trappings i really love the immediacy of it that was uh that was great that was great great art direction too all right let's talk about it people all right as much as i said that thing at the beginning about like you know hey just because i'm going to interview talent involved with the film doesn't mean i'm gonna you know be shy of criticizing a movie if i don't like it I gave examples at the beginning of this video to show like i'm willing to do it but now I'm got to be honest with you guys. I I I'm, I'm just excited to do the interviews now because that was am amazing. Who am I? Oh shit, I'm interviewing the main people, the main the two main characters. I didn't realize that. <laughs> they never give us the leads. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, sweet. Okay. Um Wow, where to begin? That was just like solid. It was solid. It's like crisp. It's tight. It's tense. It's exciting. It's atmospheric. It's dreadful, but it's got this great rhythm to it throughout. It's like pulsating, you know, like the the use of the drums uh, throughout with the with like the kind of like tribal music. I thought just really played on the heart so well and added to the intensity of the film. Throughout and this, this character, uh, how do you say na, na, Naru? Na, Naru? Am I trying too hard? Naru? Naru? <laughs> Am I trying too hard? The actress's name Amber Mid Thunder. Wow, what a cool name, Mid Thunder. Holy Christ! Um, damn, Amber Mid Thunder. Wow, what a name like that. Wow. Anywho, uh, just redefining what the name Amber means <laughs> from here on out. <laughs> but um, yeah, the uh, her character. I was so invested in uh, from the very beginning of this story because it, it's it's so multi-layered with her performance of how she's someone who obviously has like a lot of fear. There's already a lot of compounding weight placed against her from just the conditions of what she's grown up with, of the the with a societal point of view within her her tribe, her family. Of telling her who she really can be and what she's trying to be she just plain and simple shouldn't so you do have that investment in her of you want to watch her rise and become the ultimate hunter warrior and that was kind of the the whole mood and vibe of this entire film was that that primal feeling of hunter warrior it, it, it made it feel more visceral because this this film is so immediate and and while being so tense and taut it it, it was one of those like character driven performances th not through like getting a bunch of exposition or monologuing or something like that or just having like a but like there was just enough scenes to establish it but really you're watching the growth of this person arc into you know utilizing their strengths by to the end of the film and i, I like how like the, the death of her brother is the catapult into her getting to the, like, I don't give a shit point. And like, it, it creates kind of this, this hardness within her. And that's like the final step in her growth to be able to take on the ultimate enemy 
which is his predator. And I thought the way the predator was used felt so cool, you know, like the predator at times, you know, like I, I don't get me wrong. Like I, I actually have a soft spot for a, most of the predator films. Uh, even like the first alien versus predator film. I have a soft spot for, I like predator two. I, I, I really grew up watching both predator one and predator two constantly. It was just a constant in my household uh, a film that maybe a little kid shouldn't be watching, but I was obsessed with them. Uh, I really loved them. And uh, I even liked the Robert Rodriguez film, Predators. But this easily, easily, and if, you know, like, I, don't, I wouldn't want to declare it as the best Predator film out of the whole franchise. There are things about it right away, mood wise, that just draw to my sensibilities and my, my personal tastes so much stronger than even the first original John McTiernan Predator film. But I can't like confidently sit here and is easily establish like this is the best Predator movie. But I can definitely say this is the best Predator movie since the original. And you know, it's kind of this conflicting feeling because because of the fact that it's going to Hulu, I got to watch a screener and you know, I get a chance to share my reaction with you guys so yeah there's that benefit but this is like how many how many films that have disappointed fans uh, in the predator <laughs> franchise have gone to the theaters and, and and this one is not getting that which which is such a bummer because there's so many great things from just a filmmaking technical standpoint like the cinematography doesn't feel quite necessarily to the same like the level of the revenant which was all like natural lighting we, we just use natural lighting but it really does capture the reflective lighting of the environment really using the surfaces it has really using the weather using those conditions and the cinematography was just excellent like the color palette was great it was really visually striking throughout and this the set designs and the costumes like the overall art production was was amazing uh, really brought it to life and like I'm I'm a, I'm a dummy who doesn't know enough about I, I, like Comanche history I don't know anything about it all right I don't know jack about it and, and, and so in my my American history is really like a little bit muddied uh, enough as it is so I, I don't really I'm not a historian here to, to talk with you guys however I do get the sense that they at least like uh, aiming to honor you know uh, the Native American tribe that I, I get that sense to say the least and because you get the you really get the vibe and the culture sense at least, uh, bottom line is like there was a cultural sense throughout this whole film that was constantly permeating uh, from beginning to end with each one of these characters that felt very lived in in that regard and that's a big part of why I thought it was so effective and emotionally effective because while it's like the only characters I really care about are the two main characters, the brother and the sister. Um, that was just enough for a film that is as as tight as this, where it's like it's it's weird because you're like you have the you have the, the the forest, you have the wilderness, you have the nature, you got the waterfalls, you got everything, you got the river. Yet it still felt very contained. I love the uh, immediacy and the buildup of it throughout. And regarding the predator. The Predator, I know some of this I said like during my reaction, so excuse me if I repeat myself from time to time. Th there were parts of, of this Predator that I did find more ferocious. Uh, it it, it kind of had the sense of like a hard R-rated version of whatever that main orc was in the Fellowship of the Ring. But this, this you know, creature, definitely a lot smarter, more, more clever, more coy and uh, more tactile obviously not just some rampaging beast but you kind of get the qualities of both you get the qualities of the, the skillful hunter but something that does feel more beast-like and, and more ruthless uh throughout and I, I like i like the performance of whoever played the predator because you do feel like part that's part of what makes the predator even more eerie is despite how foreign it is and, and you know like it's such a creature such a sci-fi creature yet because of its humanoid qualities that's a big part of what makes the creature so unsettling and i thought that was really brought back here and that's something that's kind of been missing you know like i, I think 
a lot of the time with these predator films they, they try like while they, you have your your little line homages and and some structural things and and certain moments that are clearly harkening back to the original predator film it it was really doing its own thing and embodying the time period and the environment that this this encapsulated because this this also did have that backdrop and mood of films kind of like the edge and revenant which uh have that you know man versus nature quality and i like that that was very much utilized throughout this film as well because because the the the, the, th the feel of the game of the hunt you know and and establishing the groundwork like when she gets trapped in the is that quicksand wherever that mud is <laughs> that she slowly slowly fall into and, and you know some things can become a little bit predictable like when they say the blood is gonna make you it, it, it make your blood cold They're like okay she's gonna be able to use that um you know and certain certain things that they would clearly boop, let's focus on this because we're gonna definitely be using this later on in the movie pay close attention to that uh, I thought it was cool. And I like it's like video game qualities. At times it does feel like a level. At times with the the POV of fighting in the wilderness, uh, it does feel like a survival horror game. And that's another theme that it really captures strongly of that or, or the the mood, the the feel, such a survival horror movie as well. And uh, and even like the girl with uh, uh, the Naru's care, the dog, whatever the dog's name is, it did kind of feel like that dog help, helper friend in a video game. And uh, it always made me afraid that they were going to kill that dog. Uh, man, I got to warn some people because I, I know a lot of people who can't watch movies if there's if there's like a really if there's like one harsh animal death. But if there's like this many, like there's no way they can handle this. And uh, yeah, because like I was at Andrew Gordon watch this with me and uh, he's he's like this out of, out of all my friends. He's easily the biggest Predator fan but because of the fact that I got the vid right now. I was like, you, you shouldn't be next to me. And uh, I'm glad he wasn't here because this, this was this is brutal in that. And I liked seeing those early stages of the Predator, like coming to Earth and being like, what's the ultimate warrior here? And, you know, you have back then the humans as hunters. Uh, they they this was their prey. This is who they this is what they hunted. These these types of animals, these threats. And so when you have the Predator plop down here and the Predator is now hunting what the humans hunt and it's just a walk in the park for the predator it's like nothing it's so easy um except for the bear but i like that I, 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 and i like the perspective captures that uh dan trachtenberg was able to to do with certain moments of like you could you could just get that kind of uh, exciteful filmmaker sense of of like man if i did a predator movie this is kind of the cool things i'd want to do like with the the bleeding bear encompassing the camouflage stealth mode version of the predator and that's the thing that starts to illuminate you know outline what the predator is but it's all like scuzzy and messed up and i loved it i loved it i love uh, that this was like a, a hard art that it took itself very serious uh the brother too uh dakota beavers top tabby tabby you know you watch a whole movie you still can't remember a character's name i i liked uh how authentic and sincere and uh sympathetic the the portrayal of the ultimate warrior in the tribe uh was you know and, and, and as being this force that helps motivate too you know and he also was multi-layered because obviously he loves his sister and he wants to protect her and he wants to be there for her and support her and show this you know show love you know be the ultimate brother but clearly he he has his doubts as well and he, he fights against it and i like that you got the sense of again three-dimensional characters and and even giving some path it's not it's not pathos but uh, yeah some some weight to to the mom uh as well you know like well she can be you know sounding a little bit harsh <laughs> at times too that's our main lead uh you know there there's there's such emotion behind her portrayal as well like i thought the cast was great the 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 violence and the action was really well choreographed and really cool i love a lot of the tracking shots i like that you could see what the hell was going on even at times when i was like okay we're going into dark environment territory is this where we try to mask some shit that they couldn't quite do but no it it, it would always provide a better like a more definitive mood 
depending on whatever the sequence was and i and i thought the action was like packed a punch it was gory it was cool to look at there was some awesome stylish choreography throughout some worthwhile kills um yeah this was the shit i thought this film was awesome the the original score was great I I I, did, I don't really I guess if I had like one qualm, but it, but it really subsided uh, pretty early on for me. Like other than the fact that like some things are a little bit predictable, but as a fan of the Predator franchise, those are just kind of tropes and motifs that I'd expect when you got a story like this. You know, I'm not expecting it to completely redefine cinema here. I'm not expecting it to like do some type of like elevated meditative like thought process of, of a film but it does kind of you know capture a little bit more of that stimuli more than most of these predator films man and uh uh i totally lost my train of thought here oh yes the the were they were they french they seem like french colonists or settlers right they they they, they seem they, they seem french <laughs> um i don't know about the history i don't i don't like spanish or french I don't speak either language. Seem French. Um, regardless, with those characters who showed up, I, I, I guess I, I would have liked a little bit. If there was anything more to like, add, uh, uh, you know, a little bit more runtime to the movie for, it would have been to kind of settle in with them, and not, not that I was like, I want to get to know them and really care about them. That wasn't the case, you know. In some ways, it did feel like they were set up here so that way they could be. Uh, you know, it, it, it extra body counts, but it, it. And the reason I'm saying that is because, you know, by the time you meet them, you barely spend any time with them. The next thing you know, a lot of them are getting, you know, you know, uh, getting killed off. Uh, and and to me, I was like, ah, maybe there should have been something that kind of, uh, and, and maybe there was a line of dialogue that I'm that I missed. I'm gonna give the movie the benefit of the doubt, or you guys can clarify for me if there was something there that I missed that established that. You know, other than the foreshadowing of the buffalo being skinned, where we thought it was the predator that was doing it. Um, other than that, it, I thought there it could, might have been used a little bit of like foreshadowing that she would encounter uh, these people, if they were aware of these people who were out there. Um, some little extra focus on that because it did kind of come in so late, and the next thing you know, a lot of them are just getting killed off. However, this film has captured so much solely from the perspective of Naru. I think that's how you say her name. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going with that. Of Naru. That, well, yeah, in this person's perspective, in this situation, it's not like they're getting foreshadowing in their life. They would just kind of stumble into the situation. I'm like, okay, so there's actually a realistic touch to that that I then began to appreciate. And, you know, the, the, the fun fanboy in me just goes well shit you know like i thought they at least packed a presence in the sense of like ruthless assholes who shouldn't be here and are here doing harmful shit uh i i thought they packed that presence and it just was rewarding to watch them get killed off and yeah it leads to her getting the gun and whatever i thought it was still very rewarding and would i have liked there's a little bit more screen time with them maybe uh, but as it stands, I still thought it was effective when they were there. Uh, I, I really, I really enjoyed that prize. So yeah, like to me, I think that's about the only thing I, I might have a qualm with. On a personal note, like that much animal death and some of that is so cruel. But if it works, it works. It really sets you up for like, oh my god, this predator! I want to see this predator die. And that's another thing, you know. I, like a lot of times with these predator movies, I, I, it's it's been a long time. Since I was like, I want to see this predator die. And I really felt that. Like, I was so rooting for the main character. That I'm like, yes, kill the fucking predator. And I'm just glad that this, to finally in this franchise, again, get back to feeling that way. Because that's what you want, man. The predator is the bad guy. <laughs> like, you gotta, you gotta feel that way. And it's been a long time since I felt that way. And I, I thought they brought it back to a real menacing, scary, imposing point again. Uh, yeah, I, I thought this was an excellent film. Um, like, uh, I would give it like a, a solid A at least. I don't do grades, but here I am. Give it like a solid A to say the least. 
um, as, a, as a fanboy of the Predator franchise, like it was an A plus for sure. Uh, this was excellent, excellent stuff. And yeah, I'm actually kind of like nervous to, I gotta think of some good questions because this was, this was awesome. This was really, really awesome. Uh, I, I really loved it. Yeah, I love this one. I'm, I'm excited to talk with people about it because this was really cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Uh, but guys, leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe, click that bell, leave a like, subscribe to get accepted. To, no, no, no. I say now subscribe to become a citizen of the Reject Nation. Much love, people. Thank you for being here.